Hello everyone, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and Monday means The Sims 4 on this channel. So today we are obviously building in The Sims 4. We are building a shopping street. I wanted to do something different than building homes or uh, simple residential lots, uh, simple community lots. I wanted to tackle a street. Now, um, I had a lot of footage and I cut it down to about a half an hour video. Um, it used to be almost three and a half hour footage, so I'm quite proud of myself. So we are building in Windenburg, for if you guys didn't notice by the surroundings yet. So we are going for this little bit of a... I kind of want to say a German style, I'm not correctly, but whenever, whenever I think of Windenburg, it just reminds me of Germany. I don't know why, it's probably not correct. I do believe uh, Windenburg is primarily uh, European based. But like homes like this, you wouldn't find where I'm from. So it reminds me of Germany. So we are going with German. So downstairs, we are building four community lots and upstairs, we are building four apartments. I'm not going to spoil you too much about it, but I am going to explain to you like what we are building when we are building it. So obviously we are starting with the exterior just to make sure everything looks um, familiar. And I wanted these four community lots to be different. So if you walk by, you would see, hey, there are four different stores. Because, you know, if you go shopping in real life, not every shop has the same windows. Not every shop has the same door. Not every shop has the exact same shape. Some are longer, some are shorter, some are a bit wider, some are like shorter. They have like diagonal walls. So I wanted to go with that. Like some of them have this weird facade, some of them don't. So I really wanted to show you guys the diversity on this and i think i actually nailed that pretty good so as you probably already see we are gonna have a restaurant here so we are going to have a restaurant which is going to be the one with the white door then the one with the brown door is going to be a photoshop so where you would go to uh, take pictures of yourself then the one here at the corner will be a uh, starbucks inspired one and then at the other corner with the blue facade will be a small library I absolutely love it, the fact that it actually is just complete and it worked out the way that I wanted to. There is gonna be like some cuts here and there because it took me quite some time to figure out the roofing. I did the roofing like three or four times and I wasn't really happy with that. Then I also had to figure out where I actually wanted to have the entrance for all the apartments so that it's going to be here at the back. But I did cut out the fiddling with the stairs because that was just so annoying. I am going to show you the final roofing that I did. So we are working with these um, tall gables roof. I believe they're called gable roofs. Yes, because the half one is half gable. So these are gable roofs. We are going to make them like tall and a little bit, um, a little bit like a witch home. So we are making sure they go hollow, hello, hollow. You know what I mean? Like that you get this weird pointy bit. And I quite like it. And there you go. The exterior is done. Because, you know, it was a lot of fiddling about which um, wood texture do I want? Do I want stones? Do I not want stones? Do I want uh, black, brown, white? What do I want? I ended up with this and I actually quite like it. I think it matches quite good with the style around it and also with the style that is going to be the other lots around here. They're all going to be similar styles. So um, obviously this build is also for my save file. We are tackling Windenburg, like not all at once. We are going back and forth between some of the words. Otherwise, um, I'm going to get burned out and we don't want that, do we? I am pretty happy that I came up with this. Like I've been thinking about making a shopping street for a while now and I wasn't really sure of how I wanted to do it and what I wanted to do. So one evening I just decided to draw something in one of my sketchbooks. I was like, oh, you know, some, maybe something like this. And then with some diagonal walls as well, because those are, I mean, diagonal walls are pretty common from uh, where I'm from. You see a lot of shops that have like diagonal walls when they're at a corner. So I wanted to incorporate that as well. So it's like something that I'm not so familiar with and only familiar with seeing and something that I am familiar with because um, I used to go shopping quite a lot, you know, when it, the shops were open, I didn't broke my, well, I did have like a broken foot. Unfortunately, uh, now most of the shops have very strict restrictions and I don't enjoy shopping there anymore. So online shopping is fine as well. Right now we are going to tackle the restaurant and for this restaurant, um, I don't know why, but it reminded me of this restaurant where I uh, went in Italy. So what was it, two years ago? Like not last year, but the year before that I actually went to Italy. And uh, I ate at this really cute restaurant. 
Like it was really cute and the owners were really nice and it was ridiculously overpriced because it was right next to the Vatican. If you ever go to Italy, don't choose right, the restaurants right next to the Vatican because they don't show you the prices on their menu. And even when they do, extra prices come down. I, I had to pay for my cutlery because I used their cutlery, which was really weird. It was nowhere on there. Then they suddenly had like a 30% tip that I also needed to pay. And like, you couldn't not pay or argue because like the entire street of shop owners were just standing next to your table, like forcing you to pay. It was very, very uncomfortable. So um, yeah, the food was good, but I won't be eating there again because it made me feel really uncomfortable. So anyways, um, I sat outside there because inside you actually had to pay more. So I already knew that so inside you're paying more. So I wanted to sit outside. So the outside is primarily based on the way it looked when I was in Italy. And the inside was the way I imagined it to be. And also, you know, the way I, I worked in a restaurant. So I know how inside of restaurants looks and you obviously all been to a restaurant once, So you know how it looks as well. So I didn't want to put that many chairs in here because you know you don't want your restaurant to be functional and um, in my experience sims 4 kind of has a problem with functional restaurants because when you make it too big uh, it doesn't function like your staff stops doing like any anything they just don't do anything anymore and it was really annoying anyway so we are gonna add some details like these little menu cards like inside and outside on the tables and I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. I really enjoy the way that it looks and the way that it actually turns out to be. This restaurant might be my favorite one of them all. Unfortunately, um, I built, I didn't build it like in one go because obviously I didn't have time for it because I also have work. Um, that did mean that whenever I started the Sims up, some of my objects would disappear. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if anyone else has been um, having this problem. If you have, let me know in the comments because I don't know if it's something I did. Like I have um, the only, I have quite, I don't say I have a lot of mods. I have like the UI cheats, the better build by mod and the no weather build mods. And that's, those are the cheats that I have or the mods that I have. Um, I don't think it's any of those. And I updated them all, so I don't know why sometimes my game just decides, oh, you can't place this object here because it's intersecting while it's not intersecting with anything. Which is really, really freaking annoying. And sometimes when I start up, my build is just gone all of a sudden. I don't know why. So if you were to download this build, I do apologize if some suddenly objects are gone. I don't know why that happens. It just does. I haven't quite fixed it. I don't know how to fix it. I didn't find anything on it online as well, so maybe I'm the only person with this problem. I mean, how uncomfortable would that be, right? So right now we are tackling the second uh, community lot, and this community lot will be a retail shop. And I say retail, but it was more of like this uh, photographer shop. So when I was a kid, my parents used to take me and my brother um, to see the photographer like once a year to take family pictures. And we would always go to uh, this shop where we had to wait and then you could see the other people being uh, like taking pictures of and then we would be taking uh, take, let's take pic let pictures taken. I can't English anymore. I'm sorry. So this was kind of that inspiration. I don't know if it really works in The Sims because um, obviously Sims 4 doesn't really have a shop like that. They should have because I actually really like it. And I imagined like this uh, photographer living above the shop. I don't know why, but it's just what I imagined. And um, obviously uh, right now it's a shop, a shop because I could get that access to the uh, cash registers. But in the end, when you download this community lot, I believe I put it under a cafe. But obviously you can just change it if you want to use the restaurant, primarily uh, use the restaurant. If you want to use the Photoshop, Primarily, I don't know, retail or something. I'm not sure. And if you want to use the library, obviously put it on library. I put it on cafe because like to the left of this building, we are going to put a Starbucks inspired cafe. And I absolutely love Starbucks. I love it. love it. Not that I drink coffee. I drink hot chocolates because I don't actually like coffee, but I love hot, hot chocolate and tea. So although I don't really like their tea, I like my own tea. Anyways, um, so I put it on that and I... When I use this in my sim, in my game, I'm actually going to close off all the other doors so the sims can't sit there and use that. But we'll, we'll tackle that problem when we get there. So right now we are just putting on some final decorations and then we are moving over to the um, 
coffee shop. And I wanted this to be um, kind of Starbucks inspired, so a lot of mismatched furniture because that's that's actually quite common in the Starbucks where I live at least. Um, there are quite some chairs that don't match with each other and I absolutely love it. I think it's really uh, charming and playful, so we are going to use it in this Sims file as well. And right now it doesn't look as cozy, but once we put actually the wallpaper in and we're going to add some plants, it looks a lot better. Trust me, it will look better. The, I've got to be honest, like the moment I was building it, I was like, man, this is going to look awful. It doesn't look good. How come it looks so bad? What's wrong with me? Why can't I build this anymore? And then once actually finished, I was like, yeah, you know what? This actually looks kind of good. I'm actually kind of happy with it. So, you know, there is that. I also wanted to make it look like they were like uh, students or sims like studying here while having coffee. So I put the laptop down so they could actually use it. And I actually thought it was really clever. And then obviously we are going to have some uh, decorations on the wall, like posters of uh, food and some price listings. And I believe we put up a few uh, cutting boards as well from the um, cool kitchen stuff pack. And I always forget that we have these, but I actually really like them and I should use them more in my builds because they look so cool. And I was wondering if I should add this picture, but I was like, nah, it's more of a bar thing. It's not really bar, it's more of a cafe. And in the end, I'm actually quite happy with how this wall looks. Obviously, there needs to be a lot more done at this build. I also wanted to put this wanted sign in here so that you would get to feel like this is really a neighborhood shopping street. Then we are just placing some final decorations and I believe then we are going over to the library. Now this library, um, I recently watched Stephen King's It, like the, the 2019 version. And they had like this library where the cupboards were like stacked like the way they are here. And I absolutely love that way of having a library. And the library where I live is pretty gosh darn modern so they don't have that. And I absolutely love the way that this looks. So I wanted to incorporate that and I wanted to use that. And then obviously we're putting some computers down, some laptops so you can study here. And I don't know why, it really made me think of this uh, student library. And I know that we're not in um, Brightchester. Brightchester is the university world, right? Yeah, Brightchester, because it's Brightchester University. But I still think like this could be a good place for your sims to study, even though we don't have the study computers that they would need to write essays, but that, that that's irrelevant, that's fine. I really love the way this looks. Also, when we add in the wallpaper and some more plants, it makes it look more like a hole. And that's the thing I absolutely love. Like I start building this and I have an idea and then I build it and I'm like, eee, it doesn't really look that good anymore. But then once it's finished, I'm actually quite happy with it. And I can say with all honesty, and then I'm really happy with how this lot came out. And I don't have that a lot because I'm quite critical. And usually I always see points where I'm like, oh, that's not good and that's not good. And that could have been better. And that's actually pretty awful. But this build, I have to say, for at least the community lots, I'm quite happy with them. I think I did relatively good. And then obviously upstairs we have the four apartments, but we are going to tackle them in a bit. First, we are going to finish up this library. I just love how, how cozy it looks, like it really looks like a library where you would spend your afternoons. And obviously a library needs curtains as well, just I feel like curtains in The Sims really finish off a room. And I just, it makes it feel good. See, this is what I mean, I have the problem with, well, we can't with intersect with objects and I don't know why, because I always used to be able to place objects like that and now all of a sudden I can't, which is really quite freaking annoying so if anyone knows how to fix that or maybe I clicked a box or something I don't know just let me know if you know how to fix it and if it is fixable or maybe it's just me also sims team if you're watching please help I don't know how to fix it so here we are moving over to um, the apartments I believe yes we are going to the first apartment and I have to say this first apartment um, might be my absolute favorite. I think the color scheme is amazing and it would actually look like um, my apartment if I had my own apartment. It would look like this. Obviously I would have a second bedroom which would be my office but you know that's irrelevant. Right now it would totally look like this and I quite like the way that it actually turns out looking. So we're not gonna have a massive dresser, we're gonna have like this small one but you know um, Technically, Sims don't need a dresser because they don't have actually have like clothes to 
So I like to store. Um, they could just use the mirror and change with that, but you know what? Um, we're gonna pretend like they actually do need it. And obviously we have all the makeup, we have this bookcase. And then we are gonna put this island living uh, poof in there, which you can just uh, like slide forward if you're doing your makeup and stuff like that. I actually have it in my room as well. I do my makeup on the ground before my mirror. We have like this mirror and then underneath it is this, is this troll. And in there is all my makeup, so I quite like it. And then I have to say we are using this shelf from Eco Lifestyle. That is actually one of my favorite shelves. It looks a little bit like custom content. It looks very fancy. It looks very modern and I absolutely love the way that it looks. Also this hallway, I love it. It is so cozy and kind of tight spaced, but also relatively spacey because of the mirror. You know, to say like mirrors, they open up spaces. So right now we are doing the kitchen and I actually had an idea about doing the kitchen like this because I recently went apartment shopping. Um, obviously they were all really expensive, so I wasn't able to buy them. But like there was this apartment and I had this exact same layout and I was like, ooh, I like this layout. Still thought the fridge was, was a bit weird and I still think that in The Sims as well, but you know what, um, we're gonna go with it and it's fine. So the only thing left to do is put some decorations up on this kitchen wall and then we are going to move over to the um, living room. And there again, look, there's like the problem with intersecting objects and I don't know on what it's intersecting because I don't understand it. It's probably just me. Anyways, we're going to use the nifty knitting couch and I absolutely love that couch with all the, the, the pillows that are on there. I think it's so cute. And like the tiny living, I know I'm not gonna talk more about tiny living because you guys all know that I love the tiny living expansion pack. So tiny living is my one of my favorite, I say expansion pack, I believe it was a, a game pack. I love tiny living, love it. Like all the furniture is so cool, absolutely love it. And I believe tiny living was also the one that came with Murphy beds, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. So we had the little office area and then in here we're going to have a dining room table and then some uh, more decorations and a bookshelf i believe as well and i believe above the dining room table we are actually going to put a mirror and i, I just feel like that is very cute and like wholesome also this plant we had to put it in there because i actually have a plant like that in real life so it was necessary just necessary there you go using the season mirror it's my default mirror Absolutely love it. And now we are heading over to the second apartment. The second apartment is going to be a two uh, bedroom apartment. And I wanted this to be a little bit more uh, modern, at least in the living area. So we are using this from the, um, oh, what is it from? Was it cool kitchen stuff? What this pack is from? I believe it was cool kitchen stuff. I can't really remember, but I think it was. Also with these cabinets, like the open and the closed ones, I think it looks amazing. I'm an absolute fan of it. And I know it's very brown, but we are going to compromise that with the uh, wall color and obviously the other decorations. There you go, the kitchen is almost finished and I absolutely love the way it turns out. I think it looks really realistic and I, I love it. I can't help it, I just love it. And then we are placing this really colorful color on the wall, some uh, awesome bar stools, which really brings out the modern part. And then we are heading over to this dining area. So the dining room table is going to be next to the door. And right now, um, yeah, I was gonna say like right now it's up against the wall, but we are gonna change it so that four Sims will be able to sit there. Um, I believe that when you play this, there will only be able to sit three Sims so there because I don't think the fourth Sim can get to the chair in the corner, but you know what? Um, that's all irrelevant, so it doesn't really matter. Just don't tell anyone, just... You can't even live here with four sims, so like it's a two sim apartment, you only have two bedrooms. And it's it's very tiny, the living space, but I do believe it is uh, kind of realistic. You know, if you have an apartment that you live together with someone, uh, you don't really have a lot of space. And, uh, you know, that's the same in this apartment, you don't really have a lot of space. And everything you need will be in your room, so... The first one, I wanted to make this really girlish room, so you could think of like this uh, young adult adolescent person that lives here. Or maybe a teen and uh, and someone else, but you know, I wanted to keep this really a pink room. And not that I'm very fond of the color pink, I mean I love pink, but not 
is not my favorite color, but I do think that the pink objects in The Sims 4 look pretty darn amazing and they're actually really uh, lifelike and realistic. And here we go for the Parenthood bookcase, which is actually one of my favorite bookcases. I think it looks really, um, not modern, but more like country style and cottage style. And I absolutely love it. And now we are heading over, uh, after we put the rock, to the second bedroom. The second bedroom, I wanted to put a, a double bed in there, but that just wouldn't fit. You would have a double bed and nothing else would fit. So we are going for a single bed again. And we are going to have a little bit of a different layout for this room. So we're going to have a little bit more of a gamer room with a computer. Actually, this half desk, which I never actually used before, but I'm absolutely in love with it. Again, with the season mirror, because, you know, um, it is my favorite mirror and it looks good in every single style, modern cottage. Doesn't matter what you make, what style you're making, it looks good. So here's the third apartment. This third apartment, I wanted to go for a little bit of a studio look. So when you enter, you enter in the kitchen and the living room. Again, not very big the kitchen or the living room, but it's all you need. It's perfect for like one sim, maybe two if your sims can really get along well, but it's not really that big. And um, next to the kitchen, we're actually going to have like this little beam work that you see. And then behind that is going to be the bedroom. Now it looks quite big, the bedroom. I can promise you, it's not. It is actually going to be quite small. There's gonna be a two person bed in there, like a closet and then only a desk because there is really more to fit in there. But before we get there, we are actually going to tackle this living room. Um, I wanted to make sure that, you sh that your Sims can actually still um, enter the home. And this way they can still enter the home. They can walk around it. They can use the bar stools on either side. They can go into the bathroom. It is all fine. They can. If I'm correct, they can all still use it. Hopefully I'm correct. I also wanted to use a little bit of different curtains. Like in the other um, apartments, we use these large curtains. Um, you know, the one with the big fancy patterns. And here we're actually going to use the thin ones. You will see me placing those in a minute. Uh, and then you'll know what I mean. I also wanted to put this broom in here because, you know, the other apartments didn't have it. And I thought it actually was quite important. And it made this apartment have this little quirky style that it needed so i was heavily wondering about what to place in this wall i think that in the end i went with uh two mirrors to make it look more spacious and just you know better and here again some i placed a mirror and then that beam disappeared or like the column and i had to place it again and it didn't work i don't know why i did that i feel like this video is completely me uh, complaining about oh my gosh i don't know why you did that what is this Ew. but um you know, it is it is really annoying. So it is bad. I don't use it a lot because I don't really like the, the headboard. It's quite big and I don't think it really matches with anything. But for this room, I actually uh, forced myself to use it because I thought it actually looked pretty great. So like I said, uh, bed, dresser, um, desk, and then it's actually full. We are going to place a little bookshelf, um, the tiny living bookshelf. Because we didn't have a bookshelf in this apartment yet, and I do believe um, that every Sims house should have one. And then we are moving over to the final apartment. Now, this apartment um, has a very tiny bedroom, but your Sims can use it. Um, I use it quite a lot, this layout, and your Sims can actually just use it. If you use it pretty great, it's fine. Actually, now that I look at it, I think... Nah, they can, they can they can pass that, that's fine. I mean, they can go to the bed, they can go around it, it's completely fine. Um, for this apartment, I didn't really have a vision of the sim that we live here. I just wanted to make this really um, different style. So, there's a pretty dark color, a dark blue, a dark brown in the living room actually as well. But I think it actually uh, worked out pretty great. We are going to use a little bit of a uh, lighter kitchen, so we're going to use the white and the blue from the spa pack. And also with the uh, cabinets, we are going to use a little bit of a different style there and a different style. Um, oh, what do you call, what do you call it? Um, the thing that blows away the smoke. This thing. I forgot the English name. I can't English anymore. I forgot how to English. Oh well. And now obviously we are going to put some standard decorations that I put in almost every build in this kitchen. You know, the basic utilities. 
and I cut this out because you've already seen it in the other one so you don't need to see it here again it's just basically more of the same now if you want to you can also put this lot on a residential lot you can even put it on um, now you can't put it on student housing because it all has a kitchen but I do believe um, you can just put it on residential and then you can have one apartment and you can get roommates that can get or live in the other apartments. I do believe that is would be able to work, I believe. So right now we are finishing up with the living room. We are going to use the uh, base game couches for that. And those are actually one of my uh, go-to couches. If I don't know what to use, I'll use these. They have like um, some swatches that are pretty gosh darn amazing and they have some that are really ugly and i feel like this ones are pretty good so because of the home is so dark with the dark walls a dark wood floor i wanted to keep it a little bit um, brighter style wise and furniture wise so we're going to use a lot of um, light beige and white and on some very colorful plants just to make it look amazing Anyways, guys, we are heading near the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure you leave a like or a comment. You can even choose to subscribe to this channel so you get notified when my next video goes up. I will leave you guys with the screenshots and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye.